Okay, this will be a setup video where I will walk you through what I want you to do for your first assignment. And your first assignment involves uh, taking a piece of physical evidence and uh, using Linux to create a forensics copy of that evidence and then verifying that evidence and writing up what you did in a report. And that may seem very simple to do, but we have to make sure that we do it right. And you'll have to document everything that you do. And I'll show you how to do that. So this video is going to be in two parts. The first part is, a, uh, is actually setting up everything that you're going to need to do for the second part of the uh, assignment. And that would be the part that involves the imaging and the verification. If we were in a physical lab, that is, this wasn't an online class, what I would do is I would have 20 of these USB to dry, uh, devices or hard drives, and I would give you that, and I would say, here, go do your lab while I was watching over you. Well, this is an online class, and I can't do that. So what we're going to do is is the first part is to, uh, is to set up your physical device. And so you're going to need a USB thumb drive. What I want you to do is get the smallest one you can because we're not going to be using all of uh, the capacity of the thumb drive. And so this is going to be a very small image you're going to be placing on your drive. And so here I've got a 128 megabyte drive. That's the smallest one I have. You can use one smaller than that because uh, the image that I'm going to give you, which you'll be placing on your thumb drive, is uh, less than a megabyte. And the reason is, is, is that we, it's the procedure is the same. We really don't need to take a um, 32 gigabyte thumb drive and to image it. It would take a very long time. So we're going to do something small. So remember, the first video is explaining how to get it set up. So then you can do the second part, which is actually the part of uh, of your assignment that you're going to turn in. So right now we're just concentrating on getting you set up with some evidence on a very small thumb drive. The first thing we want to do is to make sure that our Linux box does not auto mount our devices. And the reason is is that once a device is auto mounted the way that, that Nautilus works uh, within Ubuntu is that it, it mounts it read and write and we don't want that. We want to make sure that in fact we don't even need to mount the device in order to access uh, the uh, device and to grab a forensics copy, a forensic copy of the device. So right now there's no need for mounting anything. Uh, Linux has, or Ubuntu rather, has tried to be more like Windows in that it, it tries to auto mount devices that are plugged into the computer and for 99.9% .9 of the things that occur with a with a, a computer, I mean that's what we want. We they've tried to make Ubuntu uh, more user friendly. At the same time, forensically, forensically, this can be a problem. So what we need to do is is to turn off auto mounting of uh, the USB devices we plug in. And the way we do this is through the following: we type the command gconf editor as you see on the screen. We hit enter. And then when we can go to apps, right here, we can scroll down to Nautilus, which is a part of, uh, of the, the GNOME uh, desktop environment. We go to preferences, Nautilus and preferences, and then we can scroll down to notice it says here media auto mount and media auto mount open we at least need to do to uncheck the media auto mount and we'll go ahead and uncheck the media auto mount open so what that means is is that when we plug in our USB device to our computer that it will not auto mount it which could cause some changes to occur on our evidence and we never want that okay so now we've placed or I have placed my USB drive uh, into a USB receptacle and I'm going to show you one, one of the things that may occur to you um, because VMware can't share a USB device it's either going, got to be connected to the host which is your Windows workstation 
or it will be connected through one of your virtual machines from within VMware. And so if, if we go to take a look at the devices that are connected, remember there's a difference between being mounted and being connected. We type sudo fdisk-l and we take a look and apparently all we've got here showing up is our uh, virtual machine hard drive. Notice it's got a single disk, dev SDA, and the reason is is that we haven't connected the device to our workstation. So the way we do that is to go up to VM, Removal Devices, and notice here I have several devices that are listed here. This Trek Solid State Disk is the one that we're interested in. Notice it says connect essentially it's saying connect to the VM or and disconnect from the host. We heard a little noise there, a little beep indicating that something occurred. If we go back and we run sudo app disk L again, notice now that it's connected to our virtual machine. This tells you a little bit about the uh, the disk. It's a dev SDB, it's 132 megabytes. Notice however that uh, due to, to uh, trying to be efficient here that I the SDB1 only takes up a small number of blocks on the device. So after SDB1 there's a lot of uh, space in here that um, that is not being used. Notice that it's a FAT16 system. Now this is just just in my case. Yours yours will look different than this, or it may look different. Right? Most likely it will look different. But if you've only got one de one uh, USB device disc plugged in, it will probably be SDB. So now what we want to do is to clear everything off that device. So if you've got important information on your USB thumb drive, then make sure you copy it off somewhere to a safe place on your host under Windows prior to doing this because what we're going to do is, is we're going to write over every single sector on the disk uh, using a uh, Linux command called dd. <clears throat> and the, the reason we're doing this is that we want the disk to be pristine, to have no other uh, information in uh, either the, the allocated space, which we'll be writing over, but also anything after the end of the first partition. And so, and actually this is a command that you will use also when you are, let's say that you're copying over a uh, you're making a forensic copy of some evidence and you're copying it to a separate partition on your hard drive you want to make sure that that partition is pristine that there's no uh, trace amounts of information on there and the best way to do that is using DD so we're going to type sudo DD for for data dump or disk dump rather and our input file is that we're going to be reading from a device called dev0 and what that does is that gives us an infinite number of zeros. We ask for a zero, it gives us a zero. Our output file is going to be SDB, so we're writing over everything on our flash drive. And now we can use a block size that's different from the default 512 bytes because we want to do this quickly, so we'll write it in big chunks so we can choose 8192 or you can use anything you want but the smaller you go the the less quickly this will transpire so I picked a something that was 16 size the default block size and then we hit enter and what's going to happen is is that Linux will take uh, a zero from from dev zero and write it out to the thumb drive from the starting sector all the way to the end and then we'll take a look at that after that and this will take about a little less than three minutes. I'm going to pause the video here. And you see after a couple of minutes 
we get an, an error. It's essentially feedback that says the DD is writing to SDB. There's no space left on the device, and that's what we want. We didn't tell it specifically how large the device is. It's just going to keep writing to the device until there's nothing left. Okay, and so the procedure is finished. Notice that it said it read in 16129 records of size 8192 bytes and it wrote out one less than that and the reason is is that it read in a zero but it got to the end of the device and there was no room left so we see that it took um, 160 seconds at 822 kilobytes a second to completely clean out the, the drive now if we want to take a look at that we can use the hex viewer XXD and pipe it to less just to make sure. Whoops. I need to do that with sudo. Here we go. And so you see that there's nothing but zeros on here. Okay, that that ends the, the first part of the assignment, which is really, once again, just to set up everything so that you've got a clean device on which to copy over the evidence. And I've got an image that you can download. It's a very small image and uncompress it. And then in a second video, oh, and start. Okay, so we see that it has only zeros on there so now what we need to do is we've got a file called evidence.dd which is an image I made previously and you can see the size right here so it's, it's less than a floppy disk but it's got several files on there we'll be working with and so what we need to do is to use dd to copy that image back over to the physical thumb drive so that you'll have something to image. And the way we're going to do this is using DD. And so our input file is going to be evidence.dd. Once again, that's the friends that copy the image. And our output file is going to be dev sdb1. We can make our block size 8192 again so this goes more quickly and we hit enter and if you're watching your your thumb drive blink it's probably done by now just to make sure we'll, hit, we'll type in sync which makes sure everything's written out and you see 121 records were read in from evidence.dd and 121 were read out. And so now what you've got is that you've got your thumb drive that has an image on it. So now if we want to go back in and take a look at the contents, we can do that. Dev stb, pipe it to less, should put xxt in here. And we see we have a master boot record right now. We keep scrolling down, this is getting a little ahead of the class, but here's our f file allocation table right in here. It tells us we've got some files on here. And so now we're all set up. Uh, another thing you could do, and unfortunately this, this thumb drive doesn't have it, but if it has a, uh, a uh, write protector on there, you can make sure that when you plug it in that the write protector indicates that, it, that the uh, no device is able to write to the device. But it's always good to go ahead and make sure explicitly in Linux to turn off auto mounting.